Hello everyone, welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to spoilers, General Hospital recently released a sneak peek video for a situation set to air on Monday, April 15. It could provide some vital hints about the probable cost of Valentin Cassidine's actions. The footage ultimately leads to the revelation of John Jagger Kate's injuries, as Anna Devane recognizes him and quickly demands to know what happened. John will need to explain how he was following Diane Miller when he was jumped, as he will still look bad from the beating he received on the waterfront. But we'd want to focus your attention on an entirely different component of this GH sneak peek film. The most exciting element looks to be what happens before John arrives. In the video, Annette is working on a list of probable pikemen operatives and their eventual destinies. Jack Brennan was the first to be imprisoned, followed by James Forsyth, who later died. Anna also mentions that Roman Hume is incarcerated because he is the next person on her list. The fact that the show is focusing on this, thus laying the basis for a solution to Valentin's query, feels significant. Valentin's condition is not looking good, since Anna is establishing a pattern here. Valentin may not make it out of here alive if Anna's list eventually reads imprisoned, deceased, imprisoned, deceased. Even if Valentin is added to the list as another imprisoned, it will be a severe blow. In either case, the episode may imply that Valentin will eventually meet one of those two ends. Will Valentin end up under the sea or confined to Pentonville? We'll keep you updated on all of the bad news as it develops, but our forecasts indicate that Valentin, Pikeman's current leader, will most certainly commit more crimes. According to General Hospital spoilers, Valentin may not be able to dodge a penalty of some type, whether it is incarceration or something far worse. Keeping up with former GH stars and following them on their new adventures is always entertaining, according to program spoilers. Although Julian Jerome is still greatly missed by many, you will soon see DeVry in an entirely different light. A Whitewater Romance, a new Hallmark film, will air on May 11 at 8 o'clock p.m. Ben Hollingsworth and Cindy Busby play Maya and Matt, two characters who end themselves attending a company retreat in the Rocky Mountains together. Matt and Maya will surely argue as they get off to a competitive start, but things will quickly heat up. DeVry's persona appears to be essential in enabling Maya and Matt's connection. According to his IMD biography, DeVry plays a character named Jim Burdett. In a new movie teaser clip, Jim makes some possibly transformational remarks. Jim offers Maya, as if directing her to her romantic destiny, if you take this way, it could be toward the greatest adventure of your life. Even while Jim appears to be a kind man who will help play Cupid whether he realizes it or not, Julian was often a bit of a criminal on GH. Playing a softer image with a knack for pairing will be entertaining for DeVry. Jim appears to be instrumental in bringing Maya and Matt together via working at the retreat. Throughout the tour, viewers may receive a glimpse of Jim's romantic life. Still, it's fantastic to see William DeVry in a new project that fans may see. Following the completion of production in October 2023, DeVry shared some movie teasers on Instagram. As the release date for a whitewater romance approaches, more details become accessible. Everything is possible if William DeVry returns to GH in the future. Many fans would be pleased to have DeVry return to the program. Whether Julian makes a surprise appearance or takes on a completely new role, We'll keep you updated on Davery as soon as there is any noteworthy news regarding former GH cast members. Stay tuned for more predictions on the emerging troubles, as General Hospital spoilers hint that Jason Morgan will face more drama in the future. According to General Hospital teasers, Brooke Lynn Quartermain's grandfather should attend her wedding because George Russo is set to replace Carmen Cerullo in the role. Carmen's last appearance on the show was in 1996, with John Capitus performing the role. George Russo has been cast in the new role and will make his debut on May 15.
This is fantastic news, since it means Carmen Cerullo will appear in May sweeps as Brooke Lynn and Harrison Chase's wedding day approaches. Grandpa Carmen will surely be on the guest list and participating in the festivities because Brooke Lynn deserves to have a huge family present on her special day. Will Carmen be critical of Harrison Chase or supportive of him? Before the wedding, Carmen might want to speak with Chase one-on-one -on -one and warn him not to harm his granddaughter. That may provide Chase with an opportunity to convey his undying love and commitment to adoring Brooke Lynn for the rest of his life. Finally, Chase hopes to get Carmen's blessing before proceeding to the altar. While this is George Russo's first soap opera role, he has appeared in numerous other films and television productions throughout the years. Russo has been in several television series, including Shameless, Camp Sunshine, Rules Don't Apply, The Offer, and Kensington. Will Ellen Travolta reprise her role as Gloria Cerullo and bring Brooklyn's grandma back to town, given that Carmen Cerullo will be attending all of the wedding festivities? We'll have to wait and see because there's no evidence of Travolta's prospective GH return right now. However, on this special day, Brooke Lynn will be surrounded by many of her loved ones, including Carmen, Lois Cerullo, Ned Quartermain, Tracy Quartermain, and many others. Whatever happens, it will be a memorable day, especially if there is some drama leading up to Brooke Lynn and Chase's vows. We'll keep you posted on any surprises and offer more predictions for upcoming cast editions. General Hospital teasers indicate that Chase and Brooke Lynn may be in for some more surprises. Spoilers from General Hospital in play Jason Morgan is assigned to Special Agent John Jagger Cates to protect Carly Spencer from harm. Although Jason dislikes his current situation, he will stop at nothing to assist Carly. His distrust in Jagger will only grow when he learns that Carly has grown involved with him. However, it will not be as simple as Jason telling Carly the truth and recommending her to avoid him. Jagger may even directly instruct Jason not to talk negatively of him to Carly. How much more can he get away with before Jason gets involved? And what plans does he have in place? Spoilers from General Hospital. Jason Morgan is over the barrel. If Jason communicated the terms of his contract with Jagger with anyone, the agreement would be null and void. If Jason takes one action that raises questions about why he works for the FBI, Jagger has vowed to charge Carly. Right now, becoming an informant is the least of his concerns. He had no idea he would be confronted with Jagger as his fake hostage, and that he would see the woman Jagger is pursuing in a whole new light as his closest friend. Carly may have just witnessed Jagger being savagely beaten up by two thugs in an alleyway near the waterfront, but that doesn't mean he won't use the circumstances to exact revenge. He will take advantage of Carly's weakness if he can get her to interact with him in any way. If Jagger exposes another side of himself to Carly and gives the appearance that he's finished studying Jason or Sonny Corinthos, she may begin to trust him. She won't realize he's actually looking for additional dirt on her the entire time. General Hospital Spoilers, we know how it works. Jason prioritizes Carly's happiness, but will he truly consider her happy if he knows the man she is falling for is deceiving her? Will he have faith that Jagger truly wants to establish a meaningful relationship with the woman he's been eyeing? Jagger understands Carly is a criminal, and it would be immoral and illegal for him to let her escape the hook. But he is currently playing it safe by acting as if he needs to keep her at arm's length because of her ties to Jason and Sonny Corinthos. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.